Nice. All right, everybody, we're back. You can see my uh, next guest this Friday at the Comedy Cellar right here in New York City. Please welcome a very funny person, Tom Papa. Hello. Hello. There you are. Hooray. Well, here we go. Summer's coming. Don't know if you can tell. I've been working a little goal, trying to get a little fatter. I figured I could go skinny, but who wants to be skinny? No one likes hanging out with skinny. Skinny's always whining. Never hear your fat friend say something like, No, I really shouldn't. <laughs> you walk with your fat friend, middle of the night. You want to stop for some pizza? Hell yeah. <laughs> no, I don't eat carbs after sex. <laughs> or sugar, or dairy, or nyang, 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 nyang. Shut up or I'll eat you too. It's fun getting fat. It's the American way. It's how the whole world knows us. Look at you Americans with your fat asses. Yeah, but we have all the food. Can't blame us. We have more food in one of our gas stations than they have in all of Mexico. You see the size of our children? <laughs> Holy cow. My nephew's bicycle has a cup holder. <laughs> when I was little, there was always a fat kid in class. Now they're all the fat kid. <laughs> you see him on the sidewalk, all out of breath. <sighs> what are you doing? Game Boy. <laughs> I need a Twinkie, yo. Guys shouldn't worry about getting fat anyway. That's a new thing. Guys used to be fat. We're a girly generation of men. I don't know what happened. You know, all going to hair salons, dippity doing it up, dyeing the tips blonde. Men used to go to barber shops, right? Big fat guy cuts your hair. Look more like a plumber than a hairstylist. Right, big pickle fingers. Couldn't even fit him in the scissors. As soon as you walk in, just punch you in the face and cut your hair. He had some nose hairs, you just grab them and yank them out. And he cut your hair in one style, whatever his was. I was a 12-year-old kid walking around with a comb over. But I felt like a man. We're girly now. I have more things in my medicine cabinet than my wife has. Moisturizers. My father never used moisturizer. He had something on his face, he scraped it off with a hammer. That was tough, Dad. First time I ever hugged my dad was when I graduated college. I was like, Dad! What'd you learn there, queer? <laughs> gotta be tough. We're at war, for crying out loud. We need real men. We're fighting the whole planet. We gotta be tough. It's scary. You have those friends that act like terrorists. Stuff doesn't bother them at all. Those little phony baloney pop philosopher friends. You have those guys? Well, you just gotta live every day like it's your last. <laughs> oh, really? I think we have very different ideas how that last day is gonna go down. <laughs> I'm gonna be running through every supermarket in town, stealing all the candy bars and having sex with every cashier girl on the way out. <laughs> you really want me to do that every day? Yeah, it's all right. You can't sweat it. There's a lot of things out there that can kill you. You can't worry about all this stuff, you know? There's always worries. My dad's new worry is 17-year-old's driving. He gets all angry. It's like you see him coming in their Hyundais, in the rearview mirror, they're going 100 miles an hour, they're going to kill somebody. 17? Like, they have reflexes like a cat. They can get around your old ass. <laughs> thing I don't want to see in my rearview mirror is some 80-year-old barreling down the highway. <laughs> Thinking they're online at the bank. Because they don't care. That's the good part about being really old. You don't worry anymore. You don't care. When they get those keys in the morning, you know there's a little part of them that's thinking, I may not make it today. <laughs> yeah, screw it. I need some milk. <laughs> That'd be fun. If you're healthy, to be that old, it'd be great. Imagine not worrying about anything. Imagine coming out tonight without looking in the mirror once. 
You know, we're in there, I can fix this or do that. And, uh. You're 80, you look in the mirror, you're like, why? It's raining out, you need a hat, plastic bag right on your head. Let's go. It's all backwards now. Young people are piercing themselves and tattooing. That's foolish. Young, beautiful bodies. Wait till you're really old and wrinkly. Not gonna make your body any worse at that point. Have fun with it. You need dentures? Put glitter on them. Big blue veins running down your legs? Tattoo monkeys there. Make it look like vines. And drink and smoke pot all the time. You're goofy anyway. No one's gonna know. I think Grandpa's high. Why? Because he wet himself and ate all the cookies? He does that every day. <laughs> Thank you all very much. That was great. That was hilarious. Tom Pop, everybody, we'll take a break. We will be right back. Oh, wait. Okay, we're, we're back. That's our show for the night. I want to thank all my guests. That was hilarious. Thank you, Stay tuned for Last Call with Carson Daly. Tune in tomorrow.